Hi everyone, um, I literally just woke up, it's not even 6am, um, I have to wake up early because I have to take the bus and I have to commute across the country, uh, which is fun, and also I didn't get any sleep last night because I was just too excited, and now I'm sleep deprived. I feel like a mess, and I hope I get to wake up, so yeah, this isn't starting well. I was really excited, I wasn't even nervous, just too excited to sleep, but I'll see you soon. Okay, so I got ready and I'm obviously way too early. It's quarter past six and my bus is in an hour. So <clears throat> yeah, what I would do differently next time for sure is try to find ways to calm my nerves and relax because I can feel how the tiredness is getting to me. I have a small headache, my tummy is like in knots, and muscles are weak, so I definitely plan on napping on the bus. Oh man, this is gonna be such a long day. Ah! I don't know what to do now for 45 minutes. I should have breakfast, but as I said, I don't know if I can eat anything. Okay, so it's still early, but I'm just gonna leave. It's dark outside. I feel a bit more awake, but still pretty much dead inside, but it's gonna get better. Um, I've got some movies on my phone. It's gonna be a good day. I'm just walking to the, the coffee shop and then I'll update you all on how that day went. I feel like such an idiot holding my phone in the street and talking to my phone. But that's the life of a vlogger, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna get a coffee. Maybe a donut, because I deserve it. Uh, and then I'll find a way to talk to my phone in a non-weird way. So I'm walking home now from the bus station. Oh, I feel like I've just been on the bus for the whole day and I really need to stretch. But yeah, it's kind of a shame. I feel like this whole video is going to be just me commuting, uh, which to be fair, it was the majority of my day. But when I was at the actual hospital, I had no time to film anything at all. I met my manager, which was really great. I set up a whole, IT account and we discussed my role in the project and it was really great but I want to get home and sit down and properly explain the day and also I need to reflect on it and just make sense of it before I forget anything and I took some notes and I want to type them or order them because it was frantic but see you soon Okay, so I'm finally at my desk. I don't know if you can see, but I am just dead. So yeah, basically what happened, I went to uh, the hospital and uh, manager, my new manager had a meeting first. So she just put me in the IT computer room and I was to set up my email Microsoft Teams because most of it would be done online anyway. She also gave me an iPad, which cool, right? I mean, they got funding for it, uh, comes with the job, which will be part of the project. Then, because obviously IT actually wasn't working, I had to call them and there were a lot of people on the line, so that took quite a while. Then she was done with her meeting, so we met, 
And it was really nice to see her in person because I had only spoken to her like basically once during the interview and then once on the phone when she told me I got the job and the rest was by email but it's been quite a while so I'm happy that I finally had my first day today. Then we basically sat in the psychology room and she told me all about the um, department, the team, the project, what was expected of me. We kind of brainstormed for a while, uh, writing ideas on the board. I felt like I was able to yeah, discuss psychology like ideas and behavior change interventions and I just felt taken seriously. I felt like she valued my opinions, which was really great. And as we were talking, like I was just feeling more and more excited about the project. Uh, and I actually could participate quite a lot with my expertise uh, on YouTube because we were actually wondering about where we would post the videos that are relevant to the project. And I suggested, well, YouTube has, you know, YouTube Studio, which gives a lot of statistics on video performance, audience retention and everything for free. As I was saying that to her, she was like, she was like, oh, that's perfect. We'll use that then. Uh, and I feel like we could vibe well, like we got along. I really wanted to reflect, but I was just too dead and I still had to commute and travel and everything. I was really sick, like nauseous and stuff on, on the bus. <laughs> so it was not a fun time. The travel back though was easier. I took lots of notes, which I am going to type now with my dinner. But yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do is work one full day a week and a half day a week, meet with her once a week to update on the progress of the project, but I can basically work at my own pace, set my own hours. I'll just be paid the same amount, but I can decide when I work. So that's gonna be really cool. It seems quite relaxed. It seems really great that the place has like a lot of funding for psychology services related to diabetes, which is amazing. It's pretty much the only, one of the only ones to do that in the UK. I wrote some ideas for reflections. I'm gonna be using the Gibbs model, which I probably will make a video on that at some point if you're interested. But yeah, I think what I want to reflect on tonight is how did I feel after this first day? What ideas do I have? What is my to-do list to do? And what do I want to get out of this job? And what can I do to get those things? I think it was a great first day. Oh, actually, uh, and one amazing thing is that there's gonna be opportunities for me to be involved with client work, uh, shadow everyone, uh, if they let me. Shadow everyone in the team. It's quite a wide and multidisciplinary team. Um, there's quite a few trainee health psychologists actually, which I'm looking forward to meet. And yeah, there's this whole manualized online self-help CBT intervention that I maybe would get involved in to some extent and also just one-to-one -one client work because of my background in CBT. So I'm really, really excited for that. Maybe I think the timeline she gave me was going to be maybe in the next couple of months. Uh, but first, obviously, like the main priority is the project, which is completely fine. I'm quite confident that I can get it done. It's about making short videos. Uh, so it's going to be the next two weeks is going to be about like collating information, what's out there, again, just dumping ideas. But yeah, oh, I really need to get all of that on paper and I need to eat and I need to take a break. That was the longest day of my life, but it was a good day. I recommend. Okay, I have no idea what this video will look like, but if you watched this far, thank you for tuning along on my journey. Oh, and before we leave, there's one more thing. I bought some notebooks at the um, uh, shopping center near the bus station. I got one that's killer ideas and on the other hand one that is boring notes so that's gonna be fun and then i got two really pretty a5 notebooks that i will use for reflections one for my course and then one for the job i don't know yet how this is gonna look i'm quite a perfectionist and i don't have a nice handwriting unless i try hard then it defeats the purpose of them being organic okay well anyway see you at some point later i guess Bye.